Time my collection, hello and welcome. This is my current state of the collection. What watches I have. Of course, only two wrists, only rare one. So, a bit more than I need, like most of us. But this is currently what I have. And I'm looking forward to go through this video because I watched, big shout out to Ozzy Watch X Back. He showed his collection and one by one took away a watch that if he needed to get rid of it, if he needed to liquidate it, if he had to get rid of it, in what order would it go? Um, and I think it'll be quite fun if the whole watch community that has a watch collection would go through it and have a video like this. So getting started with me, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight watches here. And the first watch that will go I think would be the Q Timex. Of course, it's a great watch. I love it. I don't wear it that often, but I really appreciate the day date function. Um, but it, it, it sits with a few of my other quartz watches that I just throw on randomly and it could be any one of them. So as this has the least value or sentimental value this one will go first because this is just a watch that i liked for reasons and it's easy this is the one that will go first so that's out of the picture and i'm pretty sure i'm looking through the lens myself and you guys might think there's a clear winner directly but it it, it isn't easy it isn't easy at all uh the next watch that will go would be the G-Shock, I found it very difficult to find opportunities to wear this. The last time I wore this was to paintballing, just because I thought this is the only one I don't care about if it gets paint on it, and I would wear it with paint on it, but that was its purpose. Um, it doesn't have Bluetooth connection, which for me doesn't make it as powerful as a solar power watch or even smart watch with batteries can be. So there's not too much you can connect with and do more. So I feel it's kind of stuck. And I did like it because it was stealth, black on black. But it is fairly boring now, really. And it just solves the purpose of maybe painting or nail varnish remover, remover or paint remover, sorry. Um, where if it landed on this watch, I wouldn't be bothered. So. On that basis, this will be out. And now I think, uh, no, no, it doesn't get difficult yet. You might have thought that we'll be in this position here with those watches out first, but now I think there's one more watch that could easily go and then it starts to get difficult. And that is the Maze GMT from Farah. I love this watch because it is so easy to read the time. The loom is great, GMT. Um, you don't have a GMT watch here. This was my GMT watch, especially as I liked the Explorer 2, but this is 40 millimeters and couldn't get the Explorer 2. And the Explorer 2 is way more expensive than this. But I just throw this on NATOs when I'm going camping, hiking or or quick trips that it it's a little purpose but i love it for where it is but not anything else which that's why i'll be gone now now it becomes difficult <laughs> it becomes difficult um the fennec 7 has changed my whole mindset on smart watches uh, in general, I used to wear this watch every day. It's my Seamaster 97. It's currently on a yellow strap. I love it. I like how it looks. I used to wear it every day for work, but the Fenix is just the data that the Fenix has on the screen for me. Um, currently, it's on low power mode. Let's see. Let's get it on. There we go. So that's my current screen. Normally I've got the highest temperature of the day, the lowest, my heart rate and the battery. And 
this watch just tells you too much information too quickly at a glance and it lasts for 17 days if you wanted it to. Plus it's got all my Strava. So this watch has become very important. Um, but if the next one was to go, this is it does get tough because now I'm, I'm, I'm separating something over sentimental value over money, basically just money. Uh, this watch is the last time my mum gave me money as a child because I wanted to buy a watch. I saved up for this watch. This watch is, I don't know how old this watch is, over 15 years old. So it's a watch that I'd never want to get rid of because of what it is. And I actually like it. And it's a good throwback, throwback watch. A lot of people, when I wear it, are like, wow, you still got that. Um, but yeah, the other ones are a bit too valuable, I think, to get rid of first just holding on to that sentimental value so sorry mum this one will have to go which leaves us with these four i guess you would have expected to see those three <laughs> remaining but maybe not the phoenix but the phoenix is amazing i took the phoenix hiking as well there's some videos on my channel uh please have a look at those some of the info the maps I couldn't have done that without it. I, I had the Explorer with me, but the Explorer can't tell me to go left or right or I'm at this altitude or there's a, a weather weather alert coming in. So the Phoenix is like, it's powerful. So I don't know. I don't know. What would you do? Or which one? Of course, they're all beautiful in their own right. This is, does have a bracelet, but I prefer it on the NATO. Yeah, decision made. Fairly new piece. Uh, I bought it more out of love and just lucky in a lucky position to buy it anyway. So, if I had to count on a watch to hold on to it, would it be able to get me out of trouble if I needed quick cash or anything? Or does it mean so, so, so much to me to keep this one over any of these that are left? Doesn't make any sense. Which means we're now left with these three. Um, and I say the Phoenix is incorporated into my everyday life so much, which is, is powerful, it's powerful. Um, and maybe I would, maybe in the future, I wouldn't need a valuable watch at all. I just need a watch that gives me the information I need to, to be safe when I'm doing the stuff that I'm doing, because there's no point dying on a mountain with an expensive watch that didn't tell you you needed to get more oxygen because your, your pulse ox was low or something like that. So situations that I could be in. So this bit here, I'm looking, uh, this is great for me. This Amiga helped me when it was very difficult to get a Submariner that I, that I wanted at the time. This watch was available and it has been fantastic. And I'm so glad I got it because I can still throw it on NATOs and wear it in most places and no one seems to even know what it is. And I love that about it. The vintage look as well, fantastic. The Rolex is my grail watch, but long term, I, I don't know, I think, I think value wise, I, I think value wise, of course this holds more value than that and this is more likely to go up um this doesn't have nowhere near the same value as these two but if one had to go at this stage it will be the amiga amiga in my last video, I got a comment. Someone said, what's Amiga? Uh, just quickly, I just remembered that I replied. 
a female friend in this Latin, Latino American content uh, country. Sorry. Um, quick little joke for you. Omega. Amiga. I don't know. How do you correctly pronounce it? Or does it bother you if some people say Omega or Omega? Let me know. Anyway, back here. I don't know. I don't know and I do know. I don't know and I do know. Uh, the Explorer Eyes, of course, is beautiful to look at. It holds value. Um, I'm just trying to weigh it out. Like What the Explorer brings is obviously one in a kind. And you cannot wear a Fenix. Well, you can, but a Fenix watch to a wedding or anything like that. Seems a bit weird. Can go to the beach. <laughs> we can almost do everything else. So this here is split between practicality of life and uh, money, basically. And I don't know. I feel like I can't wear my Explorer to work, not because it's a Rolex. It just doesn't allow me to do all the stuff that I needed to do. If I need to quickly time 20 seconds, 30 seconds, I'm involved in sports a lot, so I need a, I need a stopwatch. Uh, but on the mountain, if I take a nice picture with the Explorer, it is, uh, it's, people would adore it more than the Phoenix. Um, I'm actually rubbing my hands right now. The Phoenix, as I said, it's just changed everything, the way it works. Even recently, I've been ill and I was just monitoring my heart rate while I was uh, feeling sick or being sick. And just, just, I just, it just adds so much information that I'll, I'm going to do something wild here. I feel like I've been procrastinating a lot on this decision. And um, this watch moving forward practically is better than the explorer uh and if i go to a wedding maybe i just don't have a watch i just wear earrings <laughs> or rings or something um A watch enthusiast, a watch collector. I'm not saying I'm a watch collector. I don't feel like I am, although I have more than one watch, but it seems like a big title. I think this stays, and this is the watch that you have. If I ignore Instagram, pictures of watches, stories of watches, horology of any sort, and just think about moving forward and being practical, within the times I think this wins and I feel like there can't be two winners but for day to day life if I didn't have any money saved I didn't have a job I just needed to move forward from here money wasn't worth anything the recession meant all the money sucked anyway. I think I would rather have this Phoenix. <laughs> I'm, I've still got my Explorer in my hand. I don't want to fully let go of it, but I think I'm going to go with the Phoenix because I don't know. Other than just watch community, just or watch enthusiasts. This moving forward is so practical. It's so practical. And I don't even have my phone connected to this watch. But it, it that would probably allow it to do more things. I think I'm going to stick with this. I'm going to stick with this. Yeah, I am. And I just let go of my Explorer. And I'm going to say in a luxury world, it would be the Explorer. But in a practical thinking, be Phoenix 7 with 21 days of battery on a full charge with 
up to extra two, three days of solar power. In 40 years time, would this still be working? I hope so. The Rolex, yeah, but I think this is what I've, yeah, I've made my bed, let me lay in it. <laughs> time my collection, thank you for watching. Aussie watch expert, fantastic idea, fantastic video. I hope it becomes a trend. I'd love to see how other people go through their collection and end up with one watch um, if they had to get rid of it for whichever reason. Um, Fenix 7 for me. Thank you.